Hello everyone. <coughs> I should have cleared my throat before I uh, said hello. <coughs> hello everyone. Okay. So I did a little bit of work yesterday and I didn't film it. I'll show you what it was. Just wanted to crack on with it really. I'm working on the wall between the bed and the driver's seat. Now I wanted to build, I wanted to build some kind of wooden frame around the window and then have uh, nice planks around the edge. I'll show you what, I'll show you what I've done. So, none of this wood that you can see as a frame is going to be visible. It's all going to be hidden or, and covered. But I just wanted to make some kind of frame. I started down here, put fixing these planks here to two good metal points in the van. You can't really, you won't be able to see, but there is some a good, good couple of points there and a good metal uh, channel, beam, whatever you want to call it, going this way. So those planks are fixed into that. And then I had use a bit of 34 by 34 on the top of that. That's the base for the window sill, which the window sill is going to sit on. And I've created this window frame fixed into this metal channel. <clears throat> so that is the, ba the basis for the window frame. Down here, I've just clamped on a piece of cladding. So that whole lower half there is going to be cladded. Uh, I'm going to carpet this section here. Oh, even though all this is going to be hidden underneath the sofa, I'm going to cover this section here with carpet. Just so when you open the storage to the cupboard, you know, you're not just going to see metal foil. I don't want to see any metal foil. And then the cladding is going to come up to here. And the cladding will follow this line here. So we just have a bit of a section of carpet. And then, so that's all going to be cladded and painted white. Still, not, uh, so yeah, just going to carpet, going to carpet anything that's like this. I don't think it's going to be visible. I'm going to cover it all up. But the idea is that you're not going to be able to, not going to open up cupboards and see uh, any metal of the van or foil or uh, reflectix. So uh, there's all this is, just want to try and make it as neat as possible. Don't skimp out, don't be lazy and just leave bits. So that's the plan anyway. So for this windowsill, I'm gonna need, where's my wood? I'm gonna need, this is a, this is all really too too thin. This stuff's already too thin, but you can, you can see if I just place it on here, I'm gonna need a piece probably double the thickness of this. Nice piece of wood for the windowsill, which will overlap a little bit, and we can stain the windowsill dark. But yeah, maybe wood like this, all in the edge, so yeah, I'll make a nice wooden frame out of maybe this stuff and then for the windowsill have something nice. Try and find a nice piece of wood for the windowsill and we'll just stain the windowsill dark. It's going to be a cupboard up here. I'm going to fix the cupboard into this metal here. This is where the base of the cupboard is going to be. That's where the base is going to be. So there'll be a length of batten there and there'll be a length of batten on the ceiling. I'm going to be fixing through the cladding into the planks that are behind it, you know, that are fixed onto the metal behind it. So I'm going to using those planks that are behind to fix it into. I may put a couple of screws for the cladding as well, just to help it hold it as well, but mainly the weight's gonna be on the planks that are underneath behind the cladding. And I think the cupboard is gonna come all the way across to here. So this is the, obviously the bed over here. Once you're sat up there, if you were sat completely, completely upright, reading or on the laptop, if there was a cupboard there, you may bash your head there. So we're definitely gonna have a cupboard at the foot end of the bed over there and we're definitely gonna have a cupboard here but I think it's gonna end where the bed starts so it's gonna go from there all the way to the front um, and there may be some thin shelves up there just to above where your head is so you don't bash your head when you're in bed uh, it's flipping cold the van the roof of the van is covered in snow snow on the ground it is flipping cold. I had a day off here. Yeah. Oh, I had a few days off working on the van because it's just been too cold or too bad weather, and this little heater is not really doing much. So the diesel heater, the diesel heater video will be coming soon. I'm sure. I've got to get it in here. Before I can do that, though, I've got to do some electrics. I've got to finish the garage, so we're going to give the garage a paint, I'm going to sort the floor out in the garage, and then I can start getting all the electrics in place, all the batteries. Solar panels and all the electrics are all in, in, the, in the, my living room upstairs, so that's all ready to go on. Just need to have a break in the weather. As soon as the garage is done, the batteries can get in, and then I can start 
thinking about a diesel heater because it needs heating in here. It is cold. Not the best time of year to be building a van in January. I need to, I need to buy some cladding clips, I think. I may go to Wix, buy some cladding clips. The cladding is going up to this carpet, up to this line here. I've just tried sand, uh, curving the end with my electric sander, which is going to be a much neater finish. So if you bring cladding up to that line there, if you've got a straight edge, it does stick out of the carpet a little bit. Curving that end is going to be a much nicer finish on all those, the ends of all that cladding. These ends are all nice and sanded. They're not perfectly lined up yet, but they will be. But just taking that edge off, can you see how sharp the edge is compared to these two? Definitely worth doing if your cladding ever meets up with carpet, just to, sh just to shave the corner a bit. Now in a second I'm going to go over this, go over this with really fine uh, sandpaper before I give it a lick of paint. But yeah, just, just to line them all up together, and iron up this curve that you've now done. It just shows that you could do a bit more sanding in a couple of spots like there, just to make it look, make it blend with the other slats, the other lengths of cladding. So a bit more sanding on that curve, and then go over the whole thing with some fine paper, and then we give it a paint and we can get some cladding on here. Uh, I need to go get some more cladding clips from Wix. I hate painting. I don't know why it's right, quite rewarding, but it's just, I don't know. It's got this attach, mental attachment to painting in my mind. I just don't enjoy it. <coughs> All right, I've got to do two coats of this. Just give this a bit of a stir first, I think. I say it all the time, but make sure you paint the tongue of, of this tongue on groove so it doesn't show when the wood shrinks and contracts and expands. First coat done. Four hours between, <laughs> four hours between coats. All right. I'll see you in four hours. That's two coats done. I will give this coat a, uh, a long time to dry. Make sure it is dry because I don't want it touching the carpet that it's butting up against and getting paint on it. So yeah, I'll probably leave that overnight. It's so cold lately, it's hard to get. The progress has just gone really slow the last two weeks okay so it's uh you're not gonna be able to see but it is snowing again and it is really cold in this van all right so i've got the top half of this wall all done and painted ready to go on i'm gonna use i'm gonna put that on there now and then i can start cutting the cladding for the bottom cutting sanding painting I went and bought some cladding clips. Let me show you these. Ugh. These are from Wix. They, they may sell them in B and Q, but uh, I, I, uh, I couldn't find them. So uh, yeah, Wix cladding clips. It's a pack of fifty. It's about three pounds something. Comes with the nails as well. So you can. I'll be able to fix this wall here without any visible screws heads saying that at a certain point the sofa is going to start so i imagine after these four or five one two three four five they're all still going to be hidden by the sofa anyway so visible screw heads isn't really a worry for me uh so i think i probably will screw the lower half of this wall on just so it's on there really securely and the top half can just have the nails um and, and visibly it will look you know aesthetically it will look nice so 
Let's nail these on and see how, we, how it looks. If you don't know what cladding clips are, <clears throat> they, they look like that. I don't know if it's going to focus, probably not. But anyway, it's got a hook on it and you can put, hook that onto the back side of the groove. So it looks like that and then you can put a nail, a nail in one of them holes and it supports the back of the groove. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, so what I've had to do On this, top, on this top one is have two visible screws which I will fill in and paint but the reason I've done that is because where the nail was going through on the cladding clip it was hitting metal, the metal support of the van so uh, but below it there's, there's a gap, there's a big enough gap for the cladding clips so I'll probably do, I'm going to try and do cladding clips now all the way down uh, until that bottom couple, well I'll screw them in as well, so it's being held in by screws top and bottom and nails in between, if you know what I mean. So that's the top half done, I reckon another four or five, probably another four, four and a half to do. And that'll be that wall, little wall done. I quite like the way it comes around this internal frame structure for the van. It is all going to be, the sofa's going to be about here anyway, isn't it? The sofa's going to be, mm, yeah, probably about this high. So I'll probably just screw the bottom ones in. And I've got three screws on that top length to fill in and paint. So if you can suggest a good filler. I think someone once suggested to me a decorator's caulk. Because I don't think it cracks so much with the movement, movement of the van. So if you know, if you're chippy or you know anything, you know, if you can suggest a caulk for me that I can use so it doesn't crack while the van's hitting bumps and driving around, that would be great. I can't remember how cheap this was, but this is quite this is quite a cheap uh, sander from B and Q. I had it years. I bought it when I was doing my other conversion, and I really didn't use it on the other build, really. But this is great for um, curving the ends, curving the ends of the cladding, just to take off that sharp edge and make it look curved and sweet. I, I think it looks really good. Anyway, it's one of the, it's their Mac. Alistair range being q I'd get one pretty good where we're up to I've just been sanding these the edge of this just been sanding the edges so they're nice and smooth and then if you can see they just to chamfer chamfer the end makes all the difference when you button up the carpet just to curve in a bit okay I've done the second coat on the bottom half of this it's gonna look really smart so the plan for this window surround I'm not sure how it's going to look but we have a plan for it so the, that's going to be cladded now technically I wouldn't have to clad any lower than that because the sofa is going to be down there but I don't want to cut corners I want to do this van as nice as possible I want to you know have it so that when you look into the cupboards or the into the storage in the sofa you know it looks finished it doesn't just look like silver reflectix or now, if it's your van, you might want to cut corners to save weight. You know, you might not be fussed about the inside of cupboards being, you know, reflectix or foil or whatever you use for your vapor barrier. But I'm selling this vehicle, so I want it to look as nice as possible and not be lazy and just, you know, just go to the go the extra mile. So, yeah, we're going to clad all the way down to the floor, even though most half of it's going to be in the sofa. This beam up here is the start of an overhead cupboard. So that's the base. So as I was saying, the plan, this is the overhead cupboard, which is actually going to come to the start of the bed here. So I have another piece of pattern on the wall here, and then a piece of pattern on the ceiling, fixed into, what is that? 
thought for a minute I had paint on the ceiling. Don't know how that got there. Anyway, yeah, overhead cupboard. So yeah, it's going to be all nice and carpeted in, inside the cupboard. Uh, so yeah, this cupboard is going to cover this central pillar here up here because although it's co covered in carpet, it's not exactly pretty. So that will be all in a cupboard. These bits of wood here are going to be painted white as well, even though they're going to be inside the sofa. I'm just waiting for paint to dry. If it wasn't so cold outside or rainy or snowing, I could have the painting outside and be worth doing other jobs in here, but I'm just working over wet paint all the time. I'm gonna get a workshop. I need to get somewhere to work. I want somewhere to work. All right, see you in a bit. Okie dokie, I think these are dry enough to put on the wall now. Quite often the paint dribbles down the back of the tongue or into the groove, so. looks really smart once that piece there and there is painted white it's all going to be underneath the sofa obviously the sofa is probably going to be about that height there anyway I think that looks really smart Wait. that piece there is for the bottom but I only need maybe an inch Maybe half, maybe half of it. So I've got to try and figure out some kind of jig so I can cut that really nice and neat, nice straight line all the way down the length of that cladding. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Really random video that was for you. A lot of chatting, not much work doing. I apologize about that. So on the bottom, the bottom two lengths there, I've got two screws either side because that is that is um, it gets quite difficult to bang the cladding clips in from up from the bottom of the cladding as low you know when you get down low but that is going to be well into the sofa there still I can fill it and paint it if I want to I might as well I'm doing these ones but something I like to do in vans is I don't really like to build permanent things so if I was to fill them in and paint them that, that then becomes very difficult to remove that. But I will do the top the top length anyway. I'll do the top length of, cla of cladding. I'll fill them three holes in because they're just going to be visible and awful to look at. So I'll fill them in. And also down in this corner, I cut them two bits a bit short. I cut them too short, but there is going to be. Uh, I've still got to figure out. But I've still got to figure out what I'm how I'm covering this piece of bulkhead anyway. Um, so there'll be definitely something in there covering that that join. As I've mentioned uh, numerous times, the sofa's there anyway. So really random video for you there. Really sorry. I think next week's going to be quite exciting. Next week's either going to be finishing off the inside of this door and this door. Or it could be solar panel video. So uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my uploads. And uh, yeah, should be getting pretty exciting pretty quick now. All right, thank you for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.